Hey again everybody, Dr. Bolin here with our microbiology shorts. This is just a condensation of our uh, shorts that we go over in our larger videos uh, talking about microorganisms. Um, I just want to invite you to come watch our larger videos if you want a more in-depth explanation of the topic. Uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, below uh, or donate to my Patreon if you like these videos. So let's get started. So this is our memory hook here. So here we have a woman giving herself or being given a skin procedure. So think skin, think epidermis, think staph epidermidis. Also prophylaxis after procedures, it's a procedure. So remember that uh, if, if you're, I should say prophylaxis before procedure. So if, when you're giving alcohol swab, you're giving iodine uh, before surgery, that's the bug we're really looking at. Uh, other bugs too, but that's the one we're giving. Uh, during procedures. Notice this woman's got very delicate, sensitive skin. Well, sensitive, noble biasin, sensitive. Noble biasin, sensitive. Staph epidermidis is noble biasin, sensitive. Notice the yellow fluid in this uh, syringe here. So ammonia is yellow and urease catalyzes uh, urea into ammonia. So yellow fluid, urease positive. We also see a polysaccharide eyelash here and a biofilm. Uh, they're kind of out of place, but if you can just remember this picture, notice her polysaccharide eyelash and the biofilm right next to where she's injecting. That would probably be a bad idea, uh, but uh, that means a polysaccharide biofilm. Look at her cute heart tattoo that she got while she was on vacation. Staph epidermidis can cause bacterial endocarditis, subacute bacterial endocarditis. All right, and finally, uh, we've got uh, these gears here. Again, kind of out of place, but they're gears on the syringe. Uh, these can affect mechanical implants. So mechanical gears, mechanical implants, prostheses, um, namely uh, like hip replacements and stuff like 